congrats. You're at the end of your PhD. You're writing up or you're just curious about what thesis writing is like. Either way, you might have heard that thesis writing is really stressful. We're going to talk about tips to make it hopefully as enjoyable and smooth as possible. My first and biggest tip would be plan your thesis first. Before you write anything, really spend the time to plan it out. And what I mean here is actually create an overall skeleton with subheadings. Once you've created that, agree it with your supervisor and make sure it's kind of telling the overall story and structure of where you want it to go. This, in my opinion, makes thesis writing so much smoother and way more enjoyable. And it's a way that can break it up into smaller chunks and make sure that you're staying on track and you're not veering off into way too large tangents. Laying down this foundation of your thesis can help guide you and keep you on track. And when you're able to look at it as smaller chunks, it makes it feel so much more manageable. Once you have your overall structure, you can create a writing plan. You can set personal deadlines for each section or each chapter and have these deadlines agreed with your supervisor so that you have accountability and it's keeping you on track and keeping you moving forward. This is more enjoyable both for you and your supervisor. Your supervisor is able to look at smaller parts and give feedback more effectively while you're moving on to the next part and you're starting to work on that. And then every time you do get a feedback document, it doesn't feel as overwhelming because it's only on one section. And on this section, you had already pre-agreed the structure that you both think makes the most sense. Next, you wanna schedule in your writing time. Know the time that you are most focused, that you are most productive and schedule that and block it into your calendar that that's going to be the time that you go to your desk and you write every day. In your writing session, it's very helpful to have really specific tasks. For example, something like write introduction can feel maybe a little bit overwhelming as opposed to, for instance, you're going to finish three subheaded sections. That way you have really specific tasks that you're able to actually finish and it doesn't feel like you're just swimming in a huge task that you don't know when it starts and when it ends. Next tip is about writing versus editing. While you're writing, it can sometimes feel a little bit tempting to really slow down and perfect each and every sentence as you're going through. While some people might find that helpful, it can really slow you down in terms of momentum. Sometimes it's easier to just put down as much of your thoughts and arguments that you wanna make and then later come back, read through, and perfect it and edit it. I think this way it also helps keep you efficient because you're focusing on one thing at a time. You're focused on just writing as opposed to editing. And later you can come back through and rephrase and edit and perfect before you proofread. I would then recommend batching up your tasks. For example, with writing, it's not only putting together a paragraph. You might be doing figures, you might be doing tables and charts, you may even be doing a little bit more statistical analysis. As much as you can, I would say try and batch up these tasks so that you're doing one thing at a time. That can help you build more momentum and moving a lot faster through all the tasks that you need to do rather than having to context switch too much. If you haven't already started using a reference manager throughout your program, this is a really great time to start. It makes it so much easier to put down all your references as you're writing. Any reference manager will do. Personally, I use Mendeley. And as you're going through, as you're finding more and more papers that you want to include, try and make sure that you're organizing them in a way where you can very easily come back and find them. I recommend organizing them into folders and subfolders by specific topic. This will save you so much time as you're writing and trying to get certain points across. Sometimes it might feel like we don't want to show up and we don't want to write and that's normal. Motivation goes up and down. There are certain tricks we can play on ourselves to make ourselves want to show up and want to do it. And I think our work setup can have a pretty significant impact. We can do things to our work setup to personalize it and make us feel like it's a nice space where we want to be. And we can have specific things that we really enjoy that are associated with that writing time. We can pair one habit that we're trying to build here, writing every day, with a sort of almost reward or a habit that we really, really enjoy that will make us want to do the other one. For example, if I write, I will get to listen to that specific playlist that I only get to listen to when I write. Or if I write, I get to drink that very specific coffee or tea that is my favorite in my favorite mug. It could also be lighting a very specific candle that you really enjoy and having that be your writing time candle. These are all just ideas. Maybe you have better ones. This works for me. I use it in other areas of my life. Let me know if you do something similar. Another thing that I did that I found really helped me was at my workstation, I had a post thesis sort of bucket list or to-do list. While I'd write, I'd think of all the things that I was giving up and I couldn't do, 
And what I would do is I would immediately write it down on this to-do list that I called my post-thesis list. What this did is it took that thought out of my mind. It was written down. I wanted to go try this new restaurant. I couldn't because I was writing. I put it down and I felt like I was building up this really exciting list for how to celebrate post-thesis. So this turned procrastination and thoughts about what I wanted to be doing other than writing into a nice bucket list that I could choose from once I'd submitted my thesis. This next recommendation will depend on if you have the time for this, but this was my supervisor's advice to me and it was the best piece of advice and it really worked for me. My supervisor recommended that I take time away from my thesis before I write my final discussion. She insisted that I pause for as long as possible and take time away from looking at my thesis, from writing anything to do with it, going to do something different and then coming back and looking at it as a more kind of holistic one piece of work. She felt that this would be a really great way to gain new perspective before I dive into a discussion. For me as well, I think that by the time you're coming to your discussion, I felt really tired and having that time away before I came back to it made me feel a lot more refreshed, a lot more energized to be able to actually do it and think more creatively. It's one piece of advice I'll always remember my supervisor gave me and I'm so glad she did because it was so, so helpful. This last one is a really obvious one, but it's so overlooked. When you're writing, take the time to really look after yourself. It's very tempting maybe if you're stressed out to work until 2 a.m. and write consistently and sprint at it. And depending on how much time you have, of course, that will be different for everyone. But I really recommend take the time to actually look after yourself. Do a little bit of the things you enjoy. Feed yourself well. Take the time to actually sleep and rest, exercise. These are all things that help keep your stress levels down, help ground you, help keep your routines every day and actually help keep you going. I really wouldn't overlook looking after your well-being both physically and mentally. This is really, really important. And of course, it'll look different for everyone. All our routines are different. All the ways that we de-stress are different, but scheduling in just a little bit of time for that, eating the foods that you enjoy, making sure you're eating well, will really help you as you're trying to think creatively, to think calmly and to get you through to the end. If you made it this far, I really hope that this video was helpful and I hope you found some things that you can implement into your writing experience. And I hope that you enjoy it as much as possible. You've got this, this will pass, and you will look back and you'll be very, very proud. If you want more PhD content, you can check out this playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.